Hi and welcome to another unboxing video. I'm Omar Hertz. It's it has actually been a while since I've posted one of these, but I'm afraid I'm smack down in the middle of my uh, my finals exams, uh, so it's a mess that I can't even post this one. Anyway, the game we're looking at today is Paths of Glory, published by GMT Games and designed by Ted Reiser, and this is actually the fifth printing, which is one thing that I want to mention. If you have or or can find an older printing, then uh, there are some changes to some of the editions, namely there's a new map board that comes in this, in case you're interested, uh, and I believe, I'm, I'm fairly certain, you can actually order the map uh, board from GMT by on its own. There's also an updated rule book if you have the rules for the, uh, the 20, 2001, I believe, edition, or earlier, these are supposed to be the same rules as the 2010 edition. So that's just a note in case you already have the game, you're just interested in seeing what's in the fifth edition. I can't really talk about the difference in components. I know they upgraded some of them, but the fact of the matter is I don't own uh, or never owned any of the Paths of Glory before. So I really couldn't comment on that. But again, if you have it, you can just uh, see for yourselves. So anyway, that's the front cover, and I'll just really quickly show you the back cover, and then we'll go into what's inside. So the back cover, as we can see here, is the standard GMT back. You've seen one, you've pretty much seen them all. I do like looking at the game scale, because it does give you some sort of an idea. Obviously, it's a point-to-point -point movement game. Uh, it's about the first world war and you can see by the scale which has three months per ten and the units which are cores and uh, and armies which translates to a core anywhere, anywhere between 20 and 50 thousand men an army maybe 300 thousand men so you can see the scale is really large this is not a uh, an in-depth squad level move your men here your tank there sort of thing it's a big uh, all-encompassing strategic game if you will and there's you know some examples of the cards it's a card driven game and and the the game counters now do know that it actually says it comes with a new map so anyway that's the back of it and let's just look inside but beforehand I just wanted to show you a nice touch here on the box which are the sides here let me find a spot which actually give you all sorts of information for example about the British Mark 1 tank uh, the First World War casualties and all sorts of information about them and a quotation here and then on the other side we have something about the Germans and German machine gun so you know it's a small thing but it's nice to have and uh, I happen to build mothers as well and I just recently built this one so obviously it's seen it's not exactly the same model that's a Mark 1 and this is a Mark 4 female but it, to, seeing that tank on the back of it was a nice touch for me now let's look at what's inside. So first of all we have this, this rule booklet which is 32 pages cover to cover and it is plain paper, it's not glossy which I actually prefer, it's a lot easier to read and I like the touch of it, it's nice thick. It is black and white though and I think some color would have been nice especially you know for, let me just move some stuff away, some of the pictures and mostly for all of the uh, the demonstrations that they have here like here, like this some color would have had because obviously there are a lot of nations in the game seeing the different colors and differentiations would have helped. There's also no index which is unfortunate but you do get a pretty comprehensive table of contents here and obviously this works in the same way as most uh, war games especially ones designed in the 90s or uh, early 2000s where it's just you know, section 13.311 and so on and so forth, which does make it easy to find things, usually, especially if there's a good reference. But again, it works so much better, I, th I think, with a, compre a more com comprehensive index. There is a page here on exception and special rules, which they actually put in a box also as a reference. It's nice, heavy, one sided cardstock, um, sorry, yeah, cardstock reference sheet 
which tells you about all of the different exceptions and special rules. So that's nice and handy. The game is, by the way, for two players, and both players will get one of these boards. They're identical, and again, it's the same uh, heavy cardstock. And one side has the terrain effect chart and also the fire charts and the sequence of play and all sorts of things. The other side has replacement costs and victory points and special rules for 1914, the August 1914 sp specifically, I believe. I haven't, I've started reading the rule book, but I haven't read all of it. I just got the game yesterday and, uh, and I didn't really have time. And then let, let's go into what else we have. And first of all, we have this counter sheet, this small counter sheet, these are half inch counters and they're used I believe for cores mostly, there's some markers there, obviously as you can see they're very colourful to differentiate uh, nations and you've got the reduced sides for them, so they're all double printed. We have a larger board over here with the 5 8 of an inch or about one and a half centimetres uh, what do you call them? Counters. <laughs> I forgot the word for a second. And you've got all the trenches for the two sides and the big armies, as you can see, and the, the nations and the tracks. And so, and again, it's all of them are back printed uh, with different things, different values. Then we go into the map. And I just wanted to say that uh, due to certain restraints, I could not take my uh, uh, film this on my larger table so this is probably going to be a bit uh, difficult to see the, the whole picture I hope that you get uh, that I can get at least most of it but if you know the board looks floppy or something like that then that's not the board's fault it's entirely on me uh, because I just don't have the room for it and I, uh, this is actually the first time I've opened this board so let me just straighten it up just slightly it is a mounted it's nice thick mounted on the GMT style which I love let me just try to zoom the camera out just a little bit and there we have the board as you can see it's a point to point movement it is absolutely gorgeous there's uh, all of the spaces are clearly marked there's no confusion you've got uh, mountains inlaid and, and all sorts of you, you can tell the flatlands over here to the side let me move here. We have the Near East map and the connections to it. And this is actually not far, not far from my home, where I'm pointing right now. Um, somewhere down here. Uh, and uh, <coughs> and uh, yeah, well, as you can see, the map also comes with lots of charts. We've got the town record track that's up there and the central power and allied reserve box for reinforcements and we have boxes up here for mandatory attacks for the, the central power is over there and then we have the allied def mandated offensive which is the same thing and it is, I hope you can see that properly, it's down here and all sorts of replaceable and uh, action boxes, replaceable units general records I'll move the camera here, general records and the US coming into the war and Russia collapsing and so on and so forth. So it's a really beautiful map. There's a lot going on on this map, as you can see. But uh, it's not that busy on the eyes, to tell you the truth. It all seems to be quite well laid out. It is pretty big, so it's a nice thing that they condense it. And like I said, this is, as far as I know, a new addition to this uh, fifth printing, which on the box it says 2014. I actually believe they, they printed it in 2015 uh, when the P500 project ended. Anyway that's that and let's keep on looking at the box and we have next baggies which are always nice. I don't know that I'd necessarily use baggies with this game because the, there's not all that many counters in it so I'll probably just grab a small uh, storage box or something and put them in but it's always nice to have. There's a couple of dice which is interesting actually because both the back cover and the rule book said the game only comes with one dice, as you can see, with one die, excuse me, as you can see it comes with two. So two dice, uh, but you know, I'm not complaining. And then finally we have our two decks of cards. Just want to make sure there's nothing under here. Nope, okay. So we have our two decks of cards. The Allied deck, which is red for some reason, and the Central Power uh, deck in the customary grey. And as you can see they're still in foil, so let me just 
pop one of them open. Uh, why isn't there a sim? Oh, just bump the camera a little bit. And we can look at the cards. Now there are 110 cards in the game, 55 in each deck, and they are actually divided into three types. We've got mobilization up here, we've got uh, limited war, yeah, limited war, and then we've got total war. And as you can see, <coughs> they're all with, uh, they're all pretty well laid out. They all have uh, artwork on them. They're all numbered, by the way, so you can identify them. 1 to 55 on both decks. This one also says 1, incidentally. And you've got all the, excuse me, the different numbers, values, information that you can use and bring enforcement points, and replacement points, actually, I think they're called and the events and stuff and it's all clearly marked if it's a combat card you can see it in red if it's a card that's removed after the event is playing you can, there's an asterisk over here and as you progress farther and farther into ga the game you're going to have more and more of these added up as far as i understand it so that's the the deck for <clears throat> the german player and let me pop this one open as well a note to packages next time if you add one of those lines that you can really use to quickly unwrap uh, decks that would be fabulous for us <laughs> uh, unboxing guys so anyway that's the second deck so it, which is more or less the same of course only different events different artwork and again it's mobilization for first and then you've got somewhere around here limited war and finally total war over and down here and that is really all that you're gonna get in this edition of Paths of Glory. I didn't mention it, but as you can see, it comes in one of the smaller, shallower GMT boxes. There are also the double ones, the three inch ones. But this is actually great because everything does fit in. There's not a lot of stuff going on, as you can see. You can easily fit everything inside. And you know, at worst, you can just throw away the inset and everything will fit in perfectly. And it doesn't take, it doesn't have a large profile, it doesn't take a lot of room on the uh, shelf, which is something else that I can commend GMT for. So, uh, with that, thank you. <laughs>